Hey everyone, welcome back, welcome back to another review, another review from my childhood. Yes, I'm back to review another uh, childhood school I've, you know, I've gone to. You know, after, after the, the disaster, you know, of which, which was Callaway Hills that I reviewed, it's finally, t finally time to move on from that and talk about, you know, my middle school and high school years. So, uh, yes. Yeah, I want to be talking about this. So, um, I finally got this stuff in a playlist, which is good. I was trying to figure out what, how I wanted to do this, you know, and I decided just to call it the... Yeah, I, I decided to just... just not call it a childhood review playlist because, you know, like why call it that? You know, because basically, basically, you know, I'm I'm kind of I'm gonna be reviewing college and all that too. And technically, I didn't you know go there, you know, but yeah, I do want to review the co uh, co the college schools too and, and t tell you guys my thoughts on that too. But um, yeah, but we still got it. We still have like I still have to review um, three more schools. Well, this one, and then technically two more after that before I get to college. So, um, yes. Anywho, guys, if you guys like these videos, remember to subscribe to my channel. If you guys are not interested in hearing me talk about my childhood and all that, you guys can also you know check out other reviews I've done. I've done other reviews on shows and t movies and all that. So. Yeah, this this is just for people who are curious about like my childhood and how I grew up, you know. And and, and down the road, I'll probably talk about you know like my my childhood outside of the schools, but but that's not going to be for a long time. I'm mainly getting the schools right now, so and I'm, I'm going to probably take a break from this after that. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's talk about Hannibal Middle School. So yes, I'm gonna be talking about Hannibal Middle School in this video. Um, I just realized too, I forgot to um to put the the Hannibal um you know middle school review you know the name of it in the video so you guys know what I'm talking about. I, I, I'm sorry if I've been messing up my my title cards for my videos. I I've been you know. I've been kind of all over the place lately, you know, me having bipolar and all that, you know, I've been kind of forgetting stuff. I'm actually, I think it was yesterday or the night before, I forgot my phone was outside. I literally left my phone outside and didn't even know I did that. Yeah, so I, I've been not, I've been kind of do like all over the place lately. So, um, I do want to kind of apologize for that, but, um. But yeah, that, that's kind of why there's no, um, you know, normally I'd have the, the name of the review and all that on it, but I don't have that. So, I don't think I had that in the Cowboy Hills one either. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, I am sorry about that. But you guys, you guys know what, what school I'm talking about anyway, but it just makes the video look a bit more empty, you know, without that. So, but, um, anywho, though, we're going to first talk about sixth grade because I'm... Um, because besides 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 a special learning center, you know, which was preschool, the middle school is is the is the only um, the only school I've actually you know went to the same school for all all for all grades. Because middle school you know has three grades. Well, most of the time it does. It kind of depends on where you're at. So, some sometimes you know some schools will have you know them a little bit different, but a majority of the time, middle school has three grades and all that, and, um, you know, um, you know that's kind of what I went, I went through my, I, all the uh, middle school years I went through in middle school, and they were all in the same school, so I didn't go to any different middle schools. I was actually going to go, I was actually going to go to um, Lewis and Clark and Jeff, um, but my, but my mother and all that moved, moved to, um, and my, and my, and my Andy moved moved to a Hannibal. And I had the option, you know, rather if I want to, you know, 
if I want to, you know, go up there or, or stay up here. It, it was really hard for me to, to decide because, um, you know, I, I, that would be a whole different school and all that. Honestly, I really did not like living up like with them, honestly. I really didn't. I did not like living with them. As crazy as this sounds, I also was kind of concerned about Caitlin, too, the person I saw at school. I knew how, how you know, how sad, how, how um, you know, nervous she was and all of that. And I was, I, I kept seeing things like, like I was worried that made, like, like, because of how shy she was and all that. I was worried that, that if, like, if we ever catched up in the future, you know, like, but if I wasn't with her and all that, she would, she would freak out because, you know, I knew her, I knew her personality and all that. And I, I, I know that's crazy to say and all that, but it, it was true. And, you know, I'll, I'll talk more about that later because, yeah, it ended up freaking backfire. I, I mean, it ended up being going the way I did not want it to go, but I'll talk about that later. When I talk about, you know, my, my JC high school years. But, um, but yeah, basically though, I did, I, I chose to go up there because I did not want to be, be up, I did not want to be up there during, like, my days off of school and all that. I wanted to, like, be able to, to, you know, relax and all that, not do all this chaos. Because I, at that time, you know, I had like, Grant and Nolan, because Nolan was getting to the point where he was going to start copying Grant and all that, and... Oh, oh yeah, it was, it was, it was absolutely hell. It was absolutely hell having a deal with all that. It was hell. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, it was literally absolute hell. Like, honestly, Hannibal was probably, like, the, wor the worst part of my life. And I was up there for, like, four years. Four years. Well, I guess, I mean, would it would have been four years? Let's see, yeah, we got, uh, see, uh, 2014, 15, 16, yeah, yeah, it would have been four years. Because, because, I mean, they moved up there about, about the same time, and then, and then they kind of moved back, like, and then, I, and then, you know, they moved out of Hannibal at the same time, because my mother likes to move, move there around, you know, summertime. I, I guess because it's easier, you know, it's easier, you know, to, you know, um, you know, you know, instead of having, you know, to start your kids and all that, you know, and have, and move, have them move in like a couple months, you know. I mean, it makes kind of sense, but at the same time, you make all these friends and all that, they, then you lose the touch of them because you're not freaking repaired. And that, that, that's going to be a huge problem when we talk about the high school up there, because dad went to high school up there too, but... But yeah, it was it was really bad and all that. It was it was bad, and I'm not gonna go into too much detail because um, I'll probably save that for my for for another time. Because I told you guys, I'm probably gonna eventually talk about my childhood outside of school too, because you know, because you know, school was only well, school was a big part of my childhood, but m m mostly home was too. But yeah, I but I was basically I was actually wanting to just stay at school. That's how bad it was at home. I I literally like wanting to go to school, and I didn't even want to go home because of how bad it was. But you know, between my my stepdad having you know drug drug problems and all, my brother like you know like don't want pinch me with scissors because I'm trying to take a nap. Yeah, my folks wouldn't let me take a nap. So I I honestly I got really tired like. I was really tired and all that, so I, I slept through the, I, I, I slept through, you know, like, you know, I slept, you know, at school and all, I mean, you're not supposed to do that, but I was just so tired, like, I literally could not stay awake, and I tried to go, wait, wait to go home and take a nap, but they wouldn't take, let me take a nap, because I wouldn't sleep very well, and, I, and I'm like, I'm like, I freaking, like, or, or, actually, no, it wasn't that, it was that, I'd be too tired during the daytime or something like that. But I'm like, I like you, you like you, you, you guys take naps all the time. My mother took took naps half the time. And besides, basically, I didn't. There's days I didn't take naps, and I still was freaking tired. 
you know, during the day at time and all that. So I don't know what the hell they were talking about. I even tried explaining it to them and they freaking, instead of, they just ignored me. So yeah, clearly, yeah, it, it was bad. And then like, you know, like, I mean, I, I gotta say the sixth grade was definitely an interesting start to, you know, to the whole, the whole thing. The sixth grade was, was an interesting start. You know, because in sixth grade, basically, you know, I, um, I actually started out in regular classes. Regular classes. But I had, like, sensitive ears and all that. I had sensitive ears. So, like, well, like it was more so my... It's not that I didn't like loud noises. It's just they actually hurt my ears. They still kind of do sometimes, but... But, yeah, basically, I had sensitive ears. So, they took me to the, um... You know, they took me basically to, I mean, I had, I basically was having problems with that, so they took me to a special edge ed classroom, where I was basically, you know, introduced to Miss Lake. Now, honestly, I had, I had mixed feelings on what, she, actually, take the back, I didn't really like Miss Lake, honestly, that much. Miss Lake was kind of, I, I, I did not like her too much, she was just kind of, I, 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 she was kind of a, a grouch and all that, but, um. Yeah, she was a grouch and uh and all of that. Basically, you know, I, I did not like her. I really she wasn't the worst teacher ever. She was definitely better than the teachers I had at, at Cowell Hills, but she still wasn't great. I still didn't care about her that much. Uh, but basically, um basically what happened was um, you know, like when, when I See, I see. I, I still was struggling with with problems with that, where I'm like, I would attack people and all that, and that that that, that stuff that, that that stuff was. Gr I was growing out of that stuff, but I was still, you know, having problems controlling that, but with changes and all that, and you know, I, I mean, it's not 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 like I should have attacked her, and that's not because I didn't like her and why I attacked her. I just, it's just you know, having you know autism and all that. I I've done that stuff, you know. I've done that stuff in the past, and but I, I the reason why I didn't like her is like I said she's a, she was a freaking grouch and she, she kind of she was snippy and I especially didn't like like when I was in her class. But see, we had this classmate named Laura, like Lauren, and she was kind of honestly Lauren was kind of she was basically like a, a, a bully. She was she was she was kind of a bully and. Uh, and whenever, whenever she would be rude and all that, like, the teacher, she would not do anything about it. But then there was, like, th then there was this one time where, like, I was outside and, um, I, I was outside with, with, with her, like, Miss Stewart, waiting for the bus. And, like, um, Miss Stewart was my aide, you know, I had my aide there. Yeah, Miss Stewart was my aide, and, uh, basically what happened was, you know... Is I was outside with her and um and you know I saw one of her drawings and I and I was like I was I was laughing I wasn't laughing at her I, I should have probably you know handled it a bit better but I was actually laughing with her and all that because I, I I liked her drawings and all that I thought they were cute and I didn't get get to finish what I was saying because she just chased me I was trying to trying to tell her that I li liked the drawings and Miss Stewart didn't do shit she just I, she just basically stood there. She stood there and and, wa and watched as as Lauren was, you know, like as Lauren was like chasing me with her freaking notebook trying to hurt me. Lauren was violent. Like she was a freaking violent person. Like and, and yeah, I probably shouldn't be laughing. I mean, I I, didn't, I wasn't making fun of her drawings, but I mean to be fair, that that was probably that probably what she what she was thinking. Um, but. I was trying to explain to her, which I think that's what she said, but I was trying to explain to her I wasn't making fun of her drawings and all that. And, and it's instead, of, instead of Miss Stewart doing anything about it, she tells a teacher, and the teacher gets on and, and snaps at me and Lauren and all that at school the very next day and all that. And, and it's just, it's just kind of, you know, it's just kind of one of those things, you know, just like, I don't know, I just freaking didn't like it. And, and then, you know, like, and then I, I went home and told, like, told, told, 
I told Andy and all my stepdad, you know, at the time about the, the situation and, all, and like, like you're not supposed to hit gir like girls. I'm like, I'm like if, I mean, technically, you know, like I told you guys, I am, I am technically gender fluid. I'm kind of a bit of both, honestly. Um, uh, but technically, you shouldn't be hitting anybody. But for self defense, you should you should have the right of way to like. To, you know, like, protect yourself and hit someone if they're going to hit you. And Laura, Lauren was older than me. She was, she was, she was in, you know, like, eighth grade and all that. I was a sixth grader at that time, you know. I um, mean, yeah, I, I wanted to self-defend myself against her. But honestly, yeah, I was just, I was just so pissed off about the whole thing. I was, see, this is kind of where the turning port part like I mean part where I started kind of I started getting kind of restless because I felt like my folks at home weren't doing anything to to, to resolve the situations and um and you know like and then at school you know I was dealing with people like that and they weren't doing anything about it. I was literally just feeling so betrayed honestly and honestly it kind of it, it was kind of coming back and haunting me over time and all that and yeah, some of the stuff unfortunately still kind of does. I'm trying trying to figure out a way to kind of get past all that. I'm seeing therapy and all that, and I'm trying to get past all this stuff. But but yeah, it's it's just it's just hard. It's just really hard to deal with all this stuff. You know, especially when you when you when you when you know, you're. I'm not saying everybody is like that, but the people I was I was around. You know, family members said all that growing up that they didn't really do anything about this stuff, you know. And, and again, again, like, and again, like, like, like I said too, like, you're not supposed to technically hit anybody, you know. I, 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 I hated that. I, hate, I hated like, I hate, I hate how like they say you can't hit girls, so you can't hit them. And I'm like, I'm like, if if they're like your, you know, twice your size and all that, you know, then you, I mean, you might as well. And to be to be fair, I'm. I'm not really built like a man anyway. I'm actually, I, I told you guys, I'm kind of more so, uh, and I'm more for the, I'm more of a, a woman-ish, you know, person. I mean, technically, I'm not, I don't have a sex change or anything, uh, but I'm kind of more towards that. But I am gender fluid. It does go back and forth sometimes, but, 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 but instead of having your, your, you know, your, your stepdad and your mom agreeing with you that you should, you should just let, you should just like, let someone beat you up. Yeah, my stepdad literally said that. Like, his, his, he, he gave me horrible advice. Like, you just need to let her beat you up and all that. And I'm like, you shouldn't be doing that. Like, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't just let someone beat you up and all that. You need to self defend yourself. But yeah, I kind of been just kind of just, you know, I, I was kind of, you know, frustrated about that. And, it's a, it's another thing that they, they they use excuses for to basically get what they want and all that like like you know some people take advantage of that and it, it's just not really good and and again this this is again like I've said in my Cowboy Hills review that this is not why why I'm gender fluid I I've always been like this I've been like this throughout history I've just had a hard time you know kind of accepting it trying to figure out who I am and all that. Um, but, but when I have, you know, people taking advantage of that, that's just ridiculous. It, it's, it's, it's like, for example, like, like I have autism. It, it's, it's like if I were to, you know, use my autism to take advantage of people like that and, and use like, because I have autist, I am autistic or bipolar, I have the right away to you know, do something to someone. It's not okay. You, you, you can't, you can't just, you know, you can't just, you know, like do that. That's not right. That's the problem with a lot of these schools, though, you know, like, I, I've been hearing people have problems with them. Like, the teachers don't do anything about it. The parents don't do much about it, you know. That's kind of why I've noticed a lot of, you know, people have kind of have been growing up, you know, and all that. Not really well and all that. They've been kind of growing up and becoming criminals of their own because, you know, of the way they grew up at. But, um, yeah. But, but yeah, basically, though, it was kind of, you know, a thing that are and all that I did not like. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything really, really good about, about sixth grade. I mean, sixth, well, sixth grade wasn't, it wasn't bad. 
I, I won't. I will say it wasn't because honestly, I still had some fun. Like we we did we did do some stuff. Like we watched like Madagascar three and all that. We watched that. You know. You know we watched that at you know at the school and all that. Like and we also went to Bonkers. Yeah, we went to Bonkers. Honestly, that was very chaotic, though. Um, I actually was looking that up. I think that Bonkers is closed, or at least I think it is. I don't know. Because the thing is, though, it says it's permanently closed, but then it says it's reopened back up. So, I'm not really sure. I might have to actually call there and figure that out, but that Bonkers was actually a bit smaller. But apparently, I, I think, too, um, there's actually only a couple bonkers. Like they're, they're not like, they're not like local places like Chuck E. Cheese and, you know, other restaurants. Now, honestly, bonkers is actually way better than Chuck E. Cheese, I will say that. Chuck E. Cheese is good. You can play a lot of games and all that. But, but it, it's, it's definitely, I mean, you can even, like, a lot of times, I think Chuck E. Cheese's, they don't have the animatronics still, but I do know they still have their, um, you know, I think they have ch someone dressed up as Chucky. You can still, you know, go to that and see them, you know. And, uh, a Bonkers has a bigger play area and all that. And I feel like, you know, you can, I mean, even adults can play in the play areas. I played in there as an adult. It's really fun, you know. It makes me wish that, that there were more places like that, you know. Because I, I don't care if I'm an adult. I love playing. You know, I, I love sliding on the slides and all that, you know. But yeah, it was, it was very chaotic, though. It, you know, at Bonkers, it was really chaotic. Like, I, like there was, because there was, you know, there was, like, hundreds of kids there. This middle school alone, I think, had, like, 800-something kids in there. And all that. And I mean, and that's like three grades. My, my elementary school, my elementary school, had, I think, had around that much, too. Like, the Cowley Hills one. I don't know if, like, Cedar Hill or um, Lawson did. But I do know that that this school definitely has, and, and they only have three grades. While there's six grades in the other schools. So that's crazy. But it was really crazy that I, I was getting hit constantly and all that. So... I, I, I kind of just, I kind of just didn't really do a whole lot there. It was just too chaotic. Um, you know, cause you know, there's too many, too, too many, when there's too many people on there, it can get definitely chaotic, but especially in a play area. And I mean, even if you like, even, you know, adults can go in there and all that, you still gotta be careful and all with kids and all that. But, but yeah, I don't know. But, but yeah, I, I, but yeah, I think so too. It's just. But I think, though, too, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of one of those things, it is kind of crazy and all that. Um, also, um, also, I got to say this, too. Um, this is actually the, the last year for a, a little while that actually I had, that I actually had a, an aide and all that at school for, for a while there. Ms. Stewart was, like, the last aide. We still had the classroom aides, like, in 7th and 8th grade. But Miss Stewart was like the last aide I had for a little while. But then, but, but yeah, it was like the la the last aide I had. And she basically, um, basically though she kind of um, she went to like she was she was going to work at um, she was like well she's taking like a part time job or something working at the elementary school. She ended up going there. I think she's still there to this day. Honestly, though, like, I mean, after, after kind of what, what happened with the, um, you know, whole Lauren, you know, situation, I'm kind of, I kind of didn't really miss her too much. I still have her on Facebook I'm, and all that. I'm, which, by the way, you guys, you got don't bother following me on that. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter because there is where I post stuff at. I don't really post stuff on, on, I mean, Facebook and all that, but... Um, but yeah, but, but I do, I do have her on. I, I just don't really care much about her anymore. Honestly, she, that one day she kind of frustrated me and all that. And I mean, she did some nice things for me. Like she did, she did take me, you know, she, she got me a whole thing, apple juice and all that. 
School actually has some pretty good apple juice. But honestly, it just, it's kind of just, you know, it's kind of, you know, just, you know, again, like, you know, like, it's just not really worth, I mean, it just wasn't really, you know, worth having an aide like her if, you know, she's not going to help me through some of, this, some of that stuff, you know. Um, you know, and all that. Um, also, I, I should probably, I mean, she did, she did kind of, she did kind of, you know, tickle me a little bit, um. I know that sounds a bit, uh, that sounds a little, a little bit raw in the way I'm saying that, but what I mean by that is, um, I was going through a phase where, like, I couldn't talk very well, like, I'm not sure what happened, like, I tried spitting words out and couldn't spit them out, so I had to have her, like, tickle me and make me laugh to do it. Miss Lake, of course, being, the, you know, the total strict bitch she is, uh, would let me do that because it's too, it's too old, it's too old and all that, you know, I mean, you're too old for that, blah, 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 and honestly, about that, about, at that time, I was getting so fed up with people telling me I'm too old for this or that, I was getting fed up with that shit, I really was, like, like I, I was told that too many times, and, and I mean, I was struggling with something there, I even told a doctor about that stuff, but freaking, she, she wasn't very, a very good help with that. My, my, my mother said she was doing a really good job and all that, and she kind of got salty with me about that. But I'm like, no, she wasn't. Like, I'm like she, 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 she added some medications and all of that, yes, and helped me with some of the stuff, but I wasn't really getting result, situations resolved. It was only getting worse and worse over time. So, um, and, and, and when I did have some medication problems, she wouldn't take me off of it. Because one of the medications I got put off, well, that was during the high school era, but that would have freaking totally screwed me up with something down the road. With, with, with like Caitlin Gal I was telling you guys about. But I will talk about her later. I, mean, I don't want to constantly bring her up because I don't want to you know, sound like I'm obsessing over her, but I'm just saying that's kind of that's the problem, too, is like I wasn't really... I had a doctor who wasn't really helping me out with some stuff either, so it wasn't helping me out with school as much. Um, but, um, but, um, but yeah, I, I, I just, I just don't like, you know, so I, I, I mean, I, I definitely was having a problem with the talking thing, like I wasn't being able to speak very well, like and all that, and I don't know what was going on there. Um, but, <sighs> But I don't know. At, at this point, at this point, though, I, you know, I don't know, I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of. I don't know what to say about sixth grade. I'm kind of just very. I mean, there were some good moments, and the bad stuff. The bad stuff wasn't like bad, bad, but it wasn't great. I'm probably gonna go ahead and just end up moving on to seventh grade, though, because honestly, I don't really have a lot to say about it. So I'll go ahead and move on to seventh grade now. Okay, so now we're going to talk about seventh grade. Now seventh grade is where um, where things like things take a, a, a different turn, and actually for the better, for the better, like they actually take a different turn for the better. So no longer I have Miss Lake as a teacher. Well, I had her as a teacher for like one point. I can't remember what it was like. Like, like what it was, but but yes, I had I had like I had Miss Lake for like a I don't remember what like what what block it was, but yeah, I did I did have a I did have you know that you know her there and all that, but um uh, but I started going to Mr. Campbell's classroom. I started going, going there. Oh, I forgot too. I had OT as well. Yeah, I had all the OT and all that. Um, from sixth grade you know, through eight, eighth grade. Oh, yeah, and I also, I also had a, um, I also had something called, um, um, I, I don't remember, like health. It was, yeah, it was called health. Yeah, in sixth grade, I don't, I don't remember a lot, a lot about about health. Honestly, I kind of don't remember a lot about it. But, um, yeah, but basically, though, health, I mean, well, basically, though, is I, there was, like, this, there was this, like, one teacher, I, I couldn't, like, I couldn't pronounce her name, 
I mean, I couldn't remember her name. Her name was Miss Sawyer, um, but I couldn't remember. Like, honestly, at this point in time, I was also starting to not remember things. Like, my short-term memory was all messed up and all that. I, I can remember, I lo- like, long-term memory stuff, but not short-term memory. I, I think, though, it was probably all the stress I was dealing with at home and all that. Um, what was, it, what, that's what the problem was. But, yeah, I had, I had like, we, we, we actually had quite a bit of people that actually left, that left. That left you know in sixth grade and all that. Um, so I kind of like, like I had like a different OT teacher and all that too. And um, she basically, um, you know, like I called her Miss Pickles because she likes pickles, but I couldn't remember her actual name. So it's funny I could remember her like in pickles, but I couldn't remember her name being Miss Soiler. But but she it always cracked her up and all that. Um, I don't remember exactly how long she was there, but. But yeah, I don't remember how long she was there. But but I do I do know. But but but, but I do know that she basically um, basically was you know, our 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 like, her, our, our channel, I don't think it was no it wasn't an OT I don't, I don't remember what like what it was um I don't know if it was OT or what I don't remember but we did get to play some games and all that that was which, which was fun too. Now, funny enough, I think the first, the first grade, yeah, there was like, there was like, um, no, it wasn't the first. I think it was eighth grade. I, either eighth grade or, or um, it was sixth grade. Um, we, we had like a lot more students in there than the other two years. Um, which was kind of interesting. But um, uh, but yeah, we had we had we had a lot. We had a lot a lot of um, we had a lot of that stuff and all that. We had a lot of um of, um, you know, grades, and, I mean, we had a lot of, you know, kids, like, in, like, one year, but the other year, there was only, like, a couple kids, but, um, but, yeah, what ended up happening was, um, you know, like, we did have some people leaving and all that, but, um, I don't know, but, but, yeah, I, I, I did, I did like that, I liked how, I like freaking Callaway Hills, Having a speech teacher tell us we're too old to play games and we couldn't play games anymore. I do like how we could, I could actually play games there. I even had a speech teacher that would let me play. We played a game called Break It Up or something. And like, what would happen was, um, whoever had the most cards at the end would win. So like, if you got if you got to rake it up, you could take people's cards. It was, it was actually it, it was really fun. It was a fun game. I don't know. I don't remember if she created it or what, but I don't know. But but I do. I do know that. Um, I do know that she's basically. Um, well, I do know that you know um, they basically had her. Um, well, they basically, um, you know, she was also like my ninth grade teacher too. But so she was my speech teacher you know, throughout, you know, all Hannibal, pretty much. But, um, but yeah, but, but I should also talk about, um, Mr. Campbell's class. Mr. Campbell became my, you know, my, became my new teacher and all that. Um, his name, I think, is pronounced Mr. Cam, Campbell, not Campbell, like, you know, Hump and all that. We, speaking of Hump, we did have a classmate who, who made a joke about, um, Hump Day and all that in the middle of the week and all that, like, and all that, and, um, I, 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 really, I really didn't, I really didn't care for a lot, I mean, the kids, the kids in the class were, were, they were, they were good, but they weren't really, like, my favorite, favorite, um, I don't know, I just don't think I connected with them as much, but they, they weren't, they weren't bad. My teacher, Mr. Campbell, he, he, he did, he did play, um, we did play something called um, um, Home Run Review, or like we would play we play this game called Home Run Review, and all that, and it, it was really fun and all. That. It was a fun game, and basically, like we, we would have to get questions right. So what would happen was if we got the questions right, like we would get three three hits with a, a ball, like it, it was it was a softball too, like it was like a little it was like for some reason it was covered in tape, but it was a very soft ball. 
so it, like a foam, I think it was made of foam or something, so it wouldn't break anything, you know, but we would play that inside and all that, and if you got the question wrong, you'd only get one shot and all that, but you could answer points and all that. It was, it was really fun and all that. It was fun. But yeah, it was definitely a, a, a fun, you know, it was a fun game and all that, but, but, um, but yeah, I kind of, kind of, kind of wish though I didn't like, like have issues still throwing fits when I lost games. I freaking hated that. I, you know, cause I'm like, I want to just play a game for fun, you know, but the other, the other, like, a, Side of, side of me, which is upset about losing all the time, but I don't know. Like we, we did, we did have like he he also did this thing where we earned like five bucks. We would earn, we would earn five bucks and all that, and we we could we could we could earn five bucks and actually get prizes and all that. I got a few things from there. Um, I always saved my money, so I always had more and all that. Um. I always had like more more money we could you know I could save, you know because you know I, I I never like I never really spent it too much. I spent it on a few things here and there, but not a lot. So like we also did this we did this dirty Santa thing or something whatever it was called um like um I don't I don't know people call it different things um where you could take people's presents, but but, but he did it with like money and all that so. I was I was I I was able to take people's presents because I didn't I always had so much money. So the very next year during eighth grade, he would have to change it. He had to change it because I was saving so much money. Um, honestly, I mean honestly, Dirty Santa, it's it's all right. It's an all right game. I mean, I, my family plays it a lot. And I don't I don't think we played it last year surprisingly, but we played it in the past. My, my my main problem with it though is is is, is taking you know it's like if you get something good you really like someone has a chance to steal it from you so so it, it kind of you know kind of stinks there but otherwise it's it's not really that bad it's, it's actually still kind of interesting you know but but yeah I basically we did play that and then. Apparently, Mr. Campbell, Mr. Campbell was it was get, it, he ended up like moving. He was moving to a new classroom too. He had all these games he bought. Unfortunately, he put them all in like containers and boxes and all that. And when he was moving to his new classroom, apparently they they threw they threw him out. They, they mean they, they threw him out and all that. So so I'm. Um, so he lost all his games, so we were stuck playing Uno and all that by the end of the game, and there all that. Now, what, what, one thing I didn't like about Mr. Campbell when it came to like Uno is like he'd hide, like basically they would they would do this they would do this rule like um I, I swear I don't I don't know the rules of Uno because every every person I play always plays it differently, but the way he would play it is. It's like you know you, you would stack stacks at the times and all that like you know all that but he would like if you say Uno and you don't have if you say Uno and you don't and this person is have Uno you have to draw cards. The problem is he would like hide his cards. I'm like that that's that's cheating. You know that's freaking cheating. That's cheating right there. So yeah, I, I kind of didn't really like that too much. Um, you know, I don't, I don't like people who cheat, but that's, that's pretty much about the main thing he did there, but, but yeah, there, there was a lot of stuff going on, and we, we, we also had field day, we, we had book fairs and field day. Yeah, actually, I, I only, I think I only had book fairs at, like, two, two different schools. Like, for all the schools I've been to, I believe I only had book fairs at two different schools. That'd be Cedar Hill, and then the, the, the Hannibal Middle School. That was it. And I got I got some stuff at, at this middle school. I got some stuff at the, at the book fair. I actually still have a lot of stuff now. I think I I think I, I can't remember, but I think I, I bought a a blood sword at one point. I don't remember. I did have a chocolate calculator. I did have one of those. I actually I actually went went inside my house in Hannibal and, and it didn't find it. 
Because I've, I've been going in there and slowly cleaning it out because the house is falling apart. And honestly, I mean, technically, I don't know if you're supposed to technically do that. But it technically really ain't trespassing because technically no one actually owns owns the property. It's just, just sitting there falling apart. I found, I found like my Blue's Clues blanket and all that down there too. So I, I found some stuff. But I, but I, yeah, I did not find the chocolate calculator. I think unfortunately it is gone. It is, it's gone. But I have a new one. I actually have two of them. I bought one at Cedar Hill and then I got another one. So I have actually two of them. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I did buy like these, these skeleton pointer hands and all that too. It was fun to have, you know, these book fitters and all that. So we had those two and um, we also had field day. It was the last school, school you know, I went to, to do field day too. And we, we, actually, we actually had to do field day inside. We had to do it inside, um, like in seventh grade because it was raining outside. So they did it inside in the gym. And I, and I do want to I do want to point this out too. Uh, this is actually a fun fact. This is also the, the first um, school where like where I started recording a ton. I think I recorded some stuff in the in Cowboy Hills. I don't know. I don't have access to the videos, so I'm not sure if that's true or not. Um, but I do know I had videos of um of the, the middle school, and then I had I actually recorded the middle school itself. It was like, the, I think, because I, I don't remember if I did Cowboy Hills or not, but it was the first, like, school I actually recorded. Unfortunately, I have one video now because the other two are, are well, well, one I deleted because I was, I was trying to save some space and all that, and decided I could just make it later. It was too late. My stepdad, Andy, at the time, you know, because he's not my stepdad anymore, he, he deleted the other one thinking that I wanted him to delete it, and I did not. And then, you know, because, you know, you know, because he, he, he honestly played, he played some handhelds too and all that, but, but, you know, I, but I'm trying to work on getting the videos back, but a lot of them also are corrupted too, so, I mean, I don't know, I mean, who knows what I have on, on these, on these things, you know, who knows. But I do know I, I recorded the middle school and I have, you know, other stuff too. I, I even have the bells. Well, a lot of them are from the high school, but they, they use pretty much the same bells as the middle school. For some reason, though, after sixth grade, they started, like, changing the bells up, too, so they, they changed them up. I, I, I can't remember if sixth grade had, like, its own lunch bell, but I do know they added, like, a train bell, and then there was a... Then there was, like, another bell and all that, but I, I do have all but, but the lunch bell... Recorded. I recorded all of them. They're all like I, I would show you guys them. I was gonna show you guys the bells, but I can't find my 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 3ds charger right now, so I can't you know do that. But um, but yeah, there, there's a lot a lot of stuff though that like was going on on the school. And I gotta say though, yeah, seventh grade was definitely a lot more of an improvement over sixth grade. I think it was. We also did this thing where we watched Kenny, we watched Kenny the Shark, I guess, at school. We, we, we didn't watch Magic School Bus, surprisingly, but we watched Kenny the Shark. I kind of wish we could have watched Kenny the Shark, but we couldn't. Um, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, Magic School Bus. Kenny the Shark, it was okay. It was an okay show, but I really didn't care for it that much. Um, maybe I can... Maybe I can Rewatch it down the road and see if I still don't care for it because it's been years since I watched it Maybe I might like it now. I remember not really caring for it that much though, but who knows? Who knows but um But yeah, we have we have that we have we have all that, you know, and Also one more thing before I you know continue to move on from here is I also have um I also have you know um well, I also have, you know, the, um, basically, basically, there was also, like, a, a, a kid in, I think his name was Trenton, he was in, he was in the class, he was the only 8th grader in the class, too, 
I was in seventh grade. There was only one eighth grader in the class. It was crazy. Like, it really was crazy. But yes, it was really, really crazy, you know. Um, it was crazy and all that. Also, also I should say, too, um, that I, I, I don't know if, um, I think it was eighth grade. Well, cause we'll go ahead. We're going to move to the next one anyway. But yeah, we'll talk about eighth grade. But just in case, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just talk about it now. Um, I think this was the fir first school year, too. I, I, I learned, I, I, met, I met my friend Taylor. I have a friend named Taylor. Her name's Taylor Roberts. Whoops, shoot. Just spoiled that. Oh, I'm not going to bother with it right now. Um, but, um, but yes, yeah, so, but, Taylor, but, Taylor, um, but Taylor Roberts is, um, Taylor Roberts was basically, uh, Taylor Roberts was basically, you know, um, a, a friend I knew and all that. Um, she's, um, she, she, she I, I've been trying to get a hold of her. I, ha I have, I, I'm friends with her, but. I can't ever get a hold of her. I don't know why. It's like I try to text her and I can't get her to respond. So I don't know. But I, but I, I am still friends with her and all that. Um. But yeah, but honestly, like if you if you were if you were to look, you could probably I mean you could probably look her up if you guys want. Um. But I'm gonna tell you guys right now, she's um she's definitely you know looks way different than she did in middle school. Um and all that. Um. Yeah, you know, but you know, but I mean, to be fair, a lot of people do. But she, she looks, she looks a lot younger and all that there and all that. And um, but um, but yeah, but I mean, but yeah, but you know, but that's the thing. When you get older and all that, you you know, you you do look different. But um, but let's go ahead though and talk about the lat the last school year too. I also wanted to state one more thing before I do let before I do talk about eighth grade two. I forgot to mention is um the minute the, like I, I was I was starting to collect um yearbooks. So in um in seventh gr grade I w I was wanting to like get get a yearbook from sixth grade. Um, God damn it! I hate when I do that. Um, sorry. It's just I hate how like how it slides like that. I need, I need to get, I need to get a phone case for this thing too. I just I, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna find one. That's the thing. I might I might end up going to Goodwill and seeing if maybe I can find one somewhere. But anywho, I, I was gonna say that um that technically um that technically um you know I I was trying I I was trying to wait to because the yearbooks go on sale and all that. So by the time seventh grade came along, you know every. They would have them on sale. I was gonna buy one. I was gonna buy one, uh, but then, but then they they quit they quit sell, they quit selling them. You know, like, because because um, the woman who was selling them sadly she's gone. She sadly left. I I, I don't know why had her like, had her leaving. You know, would cause that, but that was frustrating because I had a lot of people that left that year, so I wanted some photos and all that of of my. Like, Teachers. I mean, I, I could go to the library and look at that stuff, but I don't want to go to the library because that's that's freaking that's like two and a half hours away just to look at freaking pictures, you know. And I mean, I don't want to screenshot them either because they, they don't always look good. I've screenshotted some pictures before, or you know, they don't look that great. They look, you know, just not that great. But um, yeah. But anywho, though, I'm gonna but, but I'm gonna go ahead and probably just talk about eighth grade. Now, eighth grade, I did not get a yearbook because I don't think they ever released one. Seventh grade, I got a yearbook for free um, because they well, gal felt bad for it. But unfortunately, unfortunately, though, I lost it. I I, can't, I never found it. So yeah, that sucks. Um, but but anywho, eighth grade now. Eighth grade's um. Eighth grade's cut. It's it's kind of like um. Eighth grade's kind of like um. Seventh grade was. Yes, eighth grade's kind of like seventh grade was. Um, in a way. Um. I actually actually met a teach. I had a teacher. She moved from California. But she moved from California and all that, and she basically um. 
she, she, she was like a, she was a, a, like a, a black person who who moved from California, which was very far away. She was actually a very sweet, you know, person. I don't remember her name, but she was very sweet and all that. And um, she moved from all the way over there. Sadly, though, um, you know, sadly, you know, she she also moved. To, I, mean, I don't know if she moved back or what. I, I can't remember. Um, but I didn't get to get to know her very long and all that. So, um, but it was pretty much about about the same, honestly. It really was. Like we had um, like it was about the same. We had um, you know, but there were, there were some things that were a bit different. I did not like. Like we we still did this money th thing where we could earn prizes, you know, like you know, Mr. Campbell's class and all that, but. But but now but now it, it it was more. Now you had to like pay pay fifty instead of twenty five, twenty five to you know to earn a movie or something, which made it kind of a little bit more difficult and all that, and um, and it, it made it more difficult, and it it, it just it just made it more it made it more difficult and all that and um. And you know, things like that, but I mean, it, it still wasn't like too too bad. Um, but also, also I had a, well, I had some, I had someone named uh, Miss Dick too. Uh, well, like that was like a caseworker or something. I I don't remember who my caseworker was. I think there was three of them. There was like three of them for each grade. Um, one of them was Miss Thomas and then Miss Dick. They they both left. Miss Dick actually left uh, while I was gone. I'm gonna get to that in a second, but. I forgot to mention that I, ca I called her Miss D because, you know, I didn't want to say, you know, dick, but it's just a name, you know. But, set, but yeah, basically what, what happened was, too, is she, she ended up leaving. Because what ended up happening was, which, honestly, it's part of 20, 2015 and all that. Because I'm, I'm going to clarify right now that um, Hannibal had two, two of the worst years in my life were freaking in Hannibal. Well, they were literally in Hannibal. 2015, I, I, I was there. 2015, I was there like all all year. And, and then, you know, the, then the other year, like 2017, I was all, there for most of the year. Like, actually, for about half of the year. And then I kind of went up, up back up here to go to school up here, and, you know, in Jeff. But basically, what, what happened was, is, um, Basically, what happened was, is I got hospitalized again. I got hospitalized again, and um, basically, um, well, this, this time my my, my doctor, because I told her about the incident and all that about that, because I, I, I well, I, I shouldn't have said anything, but I was trying to tell her I didn't want to really go to the hospital. Yeah, I shouldn't have said anything, but basically, this is this, this you know, I'm not gonna say anything because this is personal for people you know who have issues, but. Let's just say something, something you know, d disturbing happened, you know, at the hospital that made me uncomfortable. So she had me relocated t to a hospital up here. I mean, I mean, up there, like over by Hannibal in Illinois. I was there for like I think ten days. It was ten days. And honestly, what happened was is I I didn't get my medicine changed. Like. They didn't change my medication at all because I go to the hospital and change my medication. They didn't, they didn't change my medication at all. They actually had me, they, they, and they wouldn't even let, let you go in, go away on the weekends. So what happened was I wasn't getting better. So I, what happened was I got taken to the autism center. And I was freaking there for like two and a half weeks. Actually two weeks, I should say. Like, I think about maybe 15 days is what I counted. So I, I, I missed I missed like a whole month. Well, I, I was away from home for like a, a, a whole month, pretty much. Like I was, and basically, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, the freaking autism center was it was fucking awful. It was awful. They, the, the the staff there were not doing their jobs. Like when kids were misbehaving, and I mean, I had people cutting in line and all that, and it was fucking awful. It was just awful. I'm gonna tell you guys too. There were also, there were also like parents who would drop their freaking kid kids all off that are like into ditching as babies, and instead of a freaking 
autism center and trying to find homes for these people, they would just freaking leave them there. And honestly, they didn't even want to be there. Like, I mean, they were running, trying to run away and all that. It was fucking awful. Now, now, now the thing is, though, the way the way that worked was if you you know you had meltdowns, you'd be there longer. I was like, I'm like, I'm like, great. I, I can't control my my outbursts. I'm gonna be here for fucking ever. But I think I think the reason why why because I did have I had a bunch of meltdowns. But I think the re- the reason why, why um I think the reason though why they like they kicked me out is because I started questioning stuff and all that and and I started questioning things and all that and they because you know and then they they I think they they kicked me out because they knew about that but I was basically away from home for an entire month and then basically school I didn't go back to school at all at the the end of November like after Thanksgiving break. For the last couple of days of November, so I was literally gone. I was literally gone for like over a month. I mean, over a, like over like a month. I was basically gone. I was like, I was like gone for about a, a month and a half of school. My mother basically wanted to take me to my dad's because you know, I mean, didn't want to, you know, didn't get to spend time with him as much because I was you know in the hospital. Uh, but but what's up? I mean, well, the autism center. But the thing is, though, what, what what really pissed me off there was, she. I was trying to tell trying to tell her and Aunt Corey and all of them what was going on there. They wouldn't fucking listen. And um, yeah, you know, it turns out like they, the the autism center people got in trouble. You know. So yeah, clearly yeah, there was a lot of shit going on. That that's 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 not even the what that's not even one of the. That's not the only problem I had with 2015, but that that right there definitely made it probably one of the worst, you know, the worst, I mean, one of the worst years of my life. You know, just to have to deal with that, you know. But, um, but I, don't, I don't know what's going on there, too. I don't know. Sorry about that. I don't know what was going on there, but... Yeah, I, 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 need, I need to get myself a phone case on this thing. Um, but anywho, as I was saying to you, um, yeah, basically what pissed me off, though, is, is like, they, 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 they do this shit all the time. They, 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 I'm, I'm trying to tell them something. They don't want to freaking listen. And honestly, this is kind of what, what, what will be a problem down the road, too. But, but yeah, that, that's just frustrating, you know? Like, you're trying to tell someone something, something, they don't want to listen, and... You know, like, that's kind of what happened back in 2012, too, with Cowboy Hills, too. You know, only, only they actually had problems with, with Cowboy Hills. They just didn't want, want, they just didn't give a shit. They didn't want to do anything about any of the stuff I was going through. And, yeah, it was just frustrating. But, um, yeah, cl- clearly, though, you know, there, I was gone for about a month and all that, and, um, and I, I don't know, I don't, I, I came, we came back and all that. I got to play my, we got to play the Wii too at the, at, at the school, which was kind of nice too for around, around Christmas break. But um, honestly too, I'm not lying, it was, it, it really did feel kind of, the year did feel about the same, you know. I, I, I would definitely say, say you know, this is probably worse than 2017, j- j- just because of the autism center thing though. Um, I, I, otherwise, I probably would, would say it's about the same, but that that really isn't the school's part. That's more that's more outside of the school. That would be grading, you know, like my actual life, you know, like by by my you know years and all that. Like I, again, I'm not I'm not really grading it. I'm just grading the school part of it. But yeah, honestly, it just kind of, it just kind of sucks that you know again I got put in you know, a hospital that wasn't giving me medication to help me out. And then they just basically put me in a, in a damn, they, they put me in a damn, you know, like, you know, autism center, like, for, like, autism people and all that. Basically, the, basically they were putting me in a freaking damn anger management place. But, you know, that's the problem. I didn't have anger problems. I just had, I had mood swings, you know? So, um, yeah, it was freaking literally just, it, it kind of just was absolute just hell like around that time. But luckily, it, it, it did get better with things, you know, and all. Yeah, of course, at home, things would get worse and worse. But 
things that w w w would, would definitely weren't too bad here. Um, but yeah, I don't know, but yeah, I was just kind of, you know, frustrated about that stuff. But, um, but I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't even know if I want to say that this, this school year was worse because, again, there, there wasn't really a lot really wrong with, it, wrong with this school year. I actually, I actually did, did, I did make a, um, I will say to you, I did make a, 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 a letter to Nintendo. I made a letter to Nintendo. And everyone praised me for that too. So there was something good there and all that. And we, oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot we too. We also made life. We did life skills. I think we did. I think we did that. We we did that like, we we did that in the past too. Um, um, like in sixth grade. But this time it was kind of all on one classroom and all that. So yeah, but. But I don't know. I don't know, like, if I can consider this. Because honestly, this one, this year too, I also, I felt like I, I got, I got a lot more stuff like done with when it came to footage wise. Also, I, I should mention too, we also had a blackout that lasted about an hour to an hour and a half. I didn't have my 3DS because my 3DS broke. Yeah, coincidentally, it, bro it broke, like, like literally, like. It broke like right like before I was getting ready to get another one, and and I was trying to make it survive a bit longer. And somehow like I all the times I drop it, it decides to break when it falls out of my pocket, like on my ball. Like right now I'm on my ball right now. That's how it broke. It, it like I, I I it just decided to break like that. I mean I I, I dropped it on. Con I mean, on concrete, rocks, and all of that stuff, and it took it took it to falling out of my pocket for it to break. Yeah, so um, so yeah, I mean, that was kind of kind of sucked. Honestly, though, I wouldn't have been able to really, I wouldn't have been able to get any video footage anyway because I was go I was using my DSI and going out there taking pictures of the hallway. And I, and I was immediately taken back and I mean, they, one of the teachers or some, someone came out in the hallway and told me to go back in, in my room. So, I mean, I, I mean, I was upset I didn't get to video anything, but, but now I look back at it, I don't think I would have been able to add too much to the video, you know, because it basically would just be me like praising it being black, a blackout and all that. Because, yeah, it was just, there, there wasn't really much to it, but. Yeah, the entire school basically had a, a blackout and all that, so. Um, so, yeah, we were just kind of in the classroom and all that, so. So, uh, yeah. But, um, but, yeah, basically, though, it's just, um, basically, though, yeah, this, but yeah, this school, though, I don't know, this, this school, I don't know, this, this school year may be a little bit better, in my opinion, because there, there definitely was a bit more going on with it. I, I, I think I, I think I state back what I say. I think this one was definitely better. I mean, we did, we did get to watch, I think, a bit more better movies, because, yeah, we watched some movies sometimes, too, like, kids would have birthdays and all that at school. We would watch, like, like, we watched Ghostbusters. Yeah, we watched the first Ghostbusters movie in, in school. Even though it had some bad words in it, we still watched it. See, see that, that, that's, that's kind of what, what, what I don't like about some of these schools. Today. They, play, they play it very safe. Like, they won't let you, like, freaking, like, like watch movies like that. And, like, oh, even though you're, like, clearly, you know, old enough to watch it, you know. We even watched the Goonies. We watched the Goonies in, in middle school, too. So we watched a lot of stuff. But, um... And we watched Star Wars too. Um, I was gonna do a marathon on watching Star Wars because you know I wanted to do all the movies. Cause back, because back back then we didn't we we didn't have you know the sequel trilogy and all that. I mean honestly, I wouldn't even watch the freaking sequel trilogy even if it came out. I mean even if it was already out and all that. But we didn't have the sequel trilogy and all that out. So we, I just watched the the prequels and the sequel. I mean in, in, in the original trilogy. But we never got to it. I only got to Attack of the Clones, so. But it was pretty interesting, though, so. You know, and all that. So, I don't know. I, I, I think I'm pretty much about really good here, honestly. I don't know if I have a lot else to really say about this. Um, 
I'll probably just go ahead and give it a score. I mean, I, I mean, this video is really long, so I'm gonna go ahead and say this this is definitely a good and 120 points. Honestly, I thought about I thought about giving this one a hundred points just because of the of the rough um just because of the of the rough up you know first year of school, but I don't know there there were still some, there were still good moments and all that in sixth grade too. There were still good moments and, and all that. I I I just think out of all of my think sixth grade. Was was probably the, my least favorite of the of the school years, just just just, be, just because of um just because of you know sixth grade was basically I I didn't really care for Miss Lake that much she, I didn't care for her but honestly there, there there still wasn't really much to that honestly also we had a funny thing too like I think it was after sixth grade seventh grade we had this we had this moment where like we were doing map testing. And because it was all on the computers, it was all on the computers. Basically, you know, um, basically, you know, like it was, it was like we we we, could, we couldn't like do anything for the last like like month or so. I remember that like in April, I think it was yeah, it was like the middle of April. Like we couldn't really do much of anything else because of that. But yeah, I mean, I don't know, but. Also, I guess I should say this too. I don't remember if it was seventh grade or eighth grade, but I remember we were gonna do a we were gonna do a like a paper and all that. Mr. Campbell couldn't figure it out, so so we had we had we had everything. We threw everything out. I mean, he like he kind of crumbled the paper up and threw it in the trash. That was pretty um weird and interesting, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I mean, I'm not gonna. You probably you probably should be teaching stuff you actually know, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember what it was exactly. Like what. But what happened there? But um, yeah, there was a lot of stuff that are also I should say state this too. Not only the videoing thing was a, became a big thing for me, but I also started working on my stories too. Then, yes, I started working on my stories. Unfortunately, I, I lost I lost like half. Like I mean, I lost most of them. I lost most of my stories. I mean, they're on like the school. They're they're on my account, which I don't have access to anymore. To be fair, though, they were kind of sloppy, you know. It's, I mean, they were, they weren't like finished to me. Like, I mean, I had, I had like like one like one script where I had like like you know Caleb beating up a uh, you know a roach because you because know, I'm doing the Caleb Abby and Julius thing and all that, but that that was, it didn't feel like you know much to that. So I kind of I kind of just I kind of you know was rewriting the scripts and all that, and I kind of liked them better. But still, it kind of sucks that I can't you know. Go off like and, and show pe and show people how I improved things and all that over time. But yes, um, but yeah, I but I, I do think that this school year definitely is, is a way more of an improvement over Callaway Hills. Definitely a way more improvement. I mean, I mean, actually, I think too, it actually was getting where, where Callaway Hills. Got worse and worse as each school year went on. This school year, actually, I mean, this school actually got better and better. And, and yeah, I, I did say that I was thinking seventh grade was technically my favorite, but I look back at it, I think eighth grade had more to offer, in my opinion, more to offer. It, it had way more to offer than you know seventh grade, and um, and you know, and also not not only not only that, but. Not only I had more to offer, but you know, I got I got a lot more accomplished with um, you know video and wise and all that. And 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 I I look back at it too. I I think actually elementary school. I think in general, it, it, I felt like it got worse and worse as I went as it went on. I mean, I don't know. I guess I guess technically Lawson was well. Lawson's kind of hard to, to judge because Lawson, you know, was only a one school year thing. But there was a lot of fun, fun things we did in that school year. I felt like I wasn't being punished as much. Like I was being punished, but I wasn't have to worry about spankings as much, you know, during that school year and all that. You know, like because I, you know, had, had you know outbursts and all that because I couldn't control them. Um, I, I did get you know check marks and all that, but I had that, you know, in like 
like first and second grade where I like I attack someone, I get spankings for it. And I, I didn't like that. Because it's not like I really met net to hurt anybody. I mean and I I did attack, you know, Mrs. Lake and all that, you know. You know, but it's not it's not but again it's not like I intentionally did it, but this time around I didn't feel like I was being punished for it because my you know if I focused at home didn't know about that. So So yeah. But yeah, but yeah, I, I think I think yeah this this school year definitely I mean this school is definitely good. And I and I'm wondering may, 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 maybe if I you know were, were at the same school like maybe, maybe if I went to like Lawson or Cedar Hill, you know, the, 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 all, like every school year, maybe it wouldn't have been as bad. Like I don't know, because I mean, I mean, fifth grade again with Cowell Hills, that was really bad. But that was mainly because a new principal came in there and all that. On top of you know, all the, with the crap I was already dealing with, with the teachers not not knowing how to you know teach crap when when it comes to you know. Te- encouraging kids to grow up and all that but I don't know but I'm gonna go ahead and let things go from here my throat is hurting from talking for a long time but I will see you guys all later bye bye